Hello, it's day two of my rainbow card challenge, and today is orange. I am doing a card a day this week, going in rainbow color order. And in the cards, I'll be doing, like in this particular one, orange on orange on orange. So what I decided to do is I got a, went through my scrap pile and just grabbed a bunch of random scraps, whether they were solid or printed uh, pattern papers as long as they were orange. And um, I die-cutted this beautiful sun out of a piece of orange cardstock. I made my card base using orange cardstock. <laughs> and this time I did it at 11 by a four and a quarter because I wanted it to be like a tent type card. So I decided I was going to back up that sun in some pattern paper. And I really like that lighter color. It's almost like a peach. Um, but as I'm digging around, I'm looking at different colors and I think, wow, I really like this piece as well. So I decide to cut another panel the same size or approximately the same size. And then I cut it in the diagonal. Um, but um, I'll show that in a little bit. So I have two pattern papers on this card, as well as you'll see me with three solid cardstock, uh, different tones of orange. So um, the... Once I cut this on the diagonal and I will adhere it to the back of that die cut piece, I decided instead of putting that straight onto the card base that I was going to mat it. And you'll see me later on going through different oranges. You know, I didn't realize I had so many orange scraps. So this was a really good time for me to go through my scrap bag because I keep all of the scraps in color order as well. And I had a lot of really small scraps or such weirdly shaped scraps that unless I was going to punch something out of it, I just needed to toss it. So it was a great time to go through that. So before I adhered the paper to the back of this um, die cut panel, I decided I was going to stamp the front and give it a little bit of a uh, pizzazz. So I used two different large background stamps. One was like a musical note one and one is a French script. I used two different ink colors and all the information on the products that I use will be on my blog and the blog, the link to my blog will be in the information box. And so anything that you need to know as far as the dye that I used, any of the products that I'm using. So these are called color splashes and they're from, used to be fun, fun Stampers Journey. Now they're bought out by Spellbinders. I'm not sure if they still have them, but I absolutely love them. I'm so glad I bought like one in every color. So I have one that's a darker orange and one that's a, called Peaches and Cream. So I did the peaches on the diagonal side where the lighter cardstock was. And I did the orange on the darker, the upper darker side where the darker card uh, pattern paper was. I hope that makes sense. But you saw it all in action. So I really like the way that card or that die cut panel really looks. It's so fun. And all those different dimensions, like it's so um, kind of blends in with the card, but also just makes it stand out if that makes any sense. So here I was looking through my cardstock and I did decide on that lighter peach color. And I still consider that orange because it is you know, like peachy, orange, apricot -y, I don't know. But I just met that down a little bit bigger than four by five and a quarter um, because that's the size of this panel here. So like I mentioned before, I decided to put glue on the back of the die and then just add the diagonals onto the die cut piece. That seemed easier than trying to place it on the paper and then adjusting it the opposite way if that makes any sense. So um, once I do that, like I said, I'm just layering up the card. I do look at it again and say, hmm, maybe it needs something else. So I grabbed my fine point black pen and I started just drawing lines around all the little cutouts. Now the cutouts, if you've ever used like a die cutting machine, um, sometimes they leave a little bit of an impression. So when I was putting the black ink, it was real wonky or sometimes not even on there at all. I decided to just go with it that way. I liked it better than just really solid colors. So you can see that there just really, it's just so much fun. Like I mentioned, there's so many parts of this card that may not be like in your face noticeable, but they definitely are noticeable when you look at the card. Um, and then right now I'm just putting some double-sided tape adhesive because I wanted some really strong adhesive before adhering to the card. And I did this trick earlier, but in case you missed my red card, which you can scroll back, um, on my playlist for cards or um or just look through my um blog post and there'll be the blog the one right before this one but i 
put, I only expose part of the adhesive because if you've ever done this, if you put that down wrong, it is not coming up. So if you only put a tiny bit before you just, you know, you actually commit to where you're putting it and then pull the rest of the strip of adhesive, just as I'm doing here, that really does help. And then I just go through with my hands and burnish it some more and also with my um, bone folder. So that gives it some extra adhesion. So there you have it. Isn't that so pretty? I was going to I was considering putting that on like with some three-dimensional tape, but I decided, no, I'm just going to put it flat on. Um, in the middle of that card, there was a circle, so I decided to use this little um, scalloped circle using an old close-to-my-heart set. I was, for some reason, determined to use or make this into like a retirement card. I didn't have anything to do with retirement. Um, I did have one of my pattern papers, but that didn't work out. So I just decided to use this um, congratulations, which I thought fit, obviously, um, retirement or really anything else. So I used that same light color, peach color cardstock and then used black ink. That's how I think I'm going to do it. But you'll see when you look at the final cards that I ended up changing that because I just thought it was a lot. But I hope you like this video. Give me a, a like the button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I am doing a video every day this week following this rainbow card challenge. I usually do at least one scrapbooking a week, which I will not be doing this week. Um, but I hope you decide to join me. Hit that subscribe button and um, hopefully this inspires you to make your own rainbow colored cards every day this week or any other time. <laughs> So um, what I did right there is I just changed my I, my mind and used white instead of black, but I did it three different times because one of them was stamped ugly. Instead of tossing them, I just stacked them on top of each other, so that gave it some dimension instead of having to use any kind of phone tape or adhesive. But like I said before, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.